Hello guys, welcome to Gautam Digital Learning. My name is Srinivas. I'm the faculty and a solution architect for ServiceNow. In today's session, we are going to discuss about ServiceNow user interface. Before we start work with ServiceNow user interface, first of all, you would like to know something about what is ServiceNow user interface. In generally, what about user interface? A user interface can determine the person where they are going to interact with the ServiceNow platform that is called user interface. Already we have created ServiceNow developer instance, right? Now let me explain the components which are available in user interface. Let's begin the session and move to the documentation guys. What is user interface? ServiceNow user interface, so providing the better customer experience. So what are the components that are available over here? I will explain the importance of each components which are available in the platform, right? So first of all, let me navigate to the instance. So this is about my service now, user interface, personal developer instance user interface. This interface has been divided into two parts. First one is banner frame. Second one is content frame. Previous version UI 15 that is UI 15 user interface. UI 15 user interface has been divided into three parts. First one is the banner frame. Second one application navigator or filter navigator. Third one is content frame. Okay, so this is UI 16. UI 16 is slight difference between 15 and 16, right? If you click on all, just click on pin all application menu. So the application menu has been pinned out on left side. This is UI 15, right? So what are the components that are available on UI 16? These are all components. First one is banner frame. Second one, application navigator or filter navigator or left navigator. Third one is content frame. Okay, let's move to the banner frame first. So different components are available on banner frame. First of all, let me talk about the logo. When our client purchased ServiceNow license, by default, you will get the company logo service now. If you want to upload your company logo, it's very pretty much simple in service now. Just go to the filter navigator. So navigate to the application basic configuration UI 16. Click on basic configuration UI 16. This is about basic level settings for your instance. First one, go to the system time zone for all users unless overridden to the user record. So my business is located in GMT time zone. Second one, banner image for US 16. So in our case, I have already downloaded some images. So now let me choose the respective image, click on plus icon and select the image KFC and open. The previous image is service now, just I have replaced with the KFC. That may be anything else guys. In real time organization, you have to upload your company logo, like your client logo. So your client will provide this all the logos guys. No need to download any logo from the Google. Next one, date format. ServiceNow platform, we have many applications. Some applications are having date fields. The date should be displayed respect to format as per your requirement. Go to date format. The date should be display month, date, year, date month year month date year depends on the client requirement you can choose the date format similarly time format as well that may 24 hours or 12 hours depends on your client requirement you can customize the basic level configuration next one coming to the branding so what do you mean by the branding branding can determine its color for example if you take any bank or any uh, like uh, companies so they are managing different brand colors right for example lesbi uh, bank color is blue and hdfc brand color is thick blue and the axis bank brand color is maroon similarly orange is icsi and kotak mahindra is the red right so similarly if you want to apply any brand colors to the instance yes we can apply your brand colors as well like header background color banner text color header divider stripper color navigation header and footer color background expand items color module text color so you can apply different colors to your instance so click on save once we made any changes in basic level configuration first of all we have to 
save the changes otherwise changes cannot replicate properly in my case i have already saved it and once again back to the logo and reload the browser see now you can see your new logo over here my new image is kfc in real time organization you can upload your client logo it's very pretty much simple right next one all so by default this application navigator is not pin out when you want to pin out the application navigator so it will be stick on left side what do you mean by application application is collection of modules for example if you go to the problem application you can see problem application and relevant modules as well what do you mean by application problem is one application that is as having so many modules so means application called collection of modules so why they are implemented filter navigator for example if you have many application in your instance how can you open specific application from out of 150 it's very difficult to open the application manually right in this case so you can search your application from filter navigator like incident instant now you can see instant application right so this is called application navigator next one favorite so what do you what is the purpose of the favorite suppose i am very frequently working with problem application but i don't want search this application frequently in filter navigator just this application let me add it to the favorite for quickly access so how can you add application to the favorite just you can select star icon and click on done the application has been successfully added to the favorite again if you go to the favorite you can see all your favorite applications and modules in case if you want to delete any application or module from the favorite you can remove also similarly let me remove problem application as well you can remove problem application and can we add single module to the favorite yes you can add single module also as a favorite so create new is a module this model i want added to my favorite just you can select star icon and click on done this specific module has been successfully added to the favorite for quickly access next one come to the history the person who logged into my instance this person may performed many operations or many actions those all actions we can find at history tab so can we delete the history from service now no it's not possible never if you perform any operations in service now okay all the actions and activities we can see in the history tab and this is also kind of quickly access for example if you want to open us 16 system configuration just click on here directly you will navigate to system configuration this is about history next one global search this global search is working as google search so for example when you want to open specific record you can navigate to instant application click on all modules and i have copied a record from table and back to the home page so when you want to open any specific record from the table just you can paste over here and click on enter system can open exact record where this particular keyword has meet so when you want to open specific record no need to search over here just if you pass that specific keyword where that keyword meet for any record that specific record can open over here okay so why we need to apply the such techniques in real time organization the table may have many records when you want to open a specific record from table you have to apply such techniques see west just if you pass any keyword over here and open the exact record where that keyword means meet right so this is called global search this global search is working as google search so when you pass any keyword and display all the relevant records over here and they have optimized one search engine for this search like a global search that is called jing 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 is a search engine that has dedicated to only service now platform and next one is globe icon so what about the globe icon okay so this globe icon and it can determine so how can we implement or create scope application from scratch and meanwhile we can understand about update set so update set and scope application to are two different topics we can discuss later in further topics so next one is this is called sidebar discussion 
the sidebar discussion working as internal communicator the people who are present in service now user table when they want to communicate each other they have to use connection like a sidebar discussion it will be working as internal communicator next one is product documentation any service now developer or administrator or it user when they want to explore more about the specific thing so just to they can go through the product documentation we can see all the information about the product documentation employee service management it operation management industry products it service management it asset management many applications are there this is about product documentation and next one notification icon when this login person got any notification that notification you can see over here but right now it's empty there are no notifications in this particular notification tab next one come to the user menu when logged in person they want update the profile just click on profile and they can update the some details but don't update first name and last name when they want to update the mobile number they can update the mobile number over here right and the title it's so a keep it as it is if you want to update business phone number as well you can update business phone number as well and update this is about how can we update the login user profile preferences we can discuss later when we work with notification topic next one impersonate user this is very very important control which is available to only service no administrator which is mainly used to take the control of other users let me tell you one best example when we can use this impersonate user for example a customer is facing the problem in service no platform but they are unable to explain issue properly to service no administrator or developer in this case administrator can directly access or take the control of the user if you want to access the specific user control system just click on the impersonate user it can open the window which user desktop do you want to access you can search that user this is all about demo data select able tutor and impersonate so you will successfully navigate to able tutor desktop first time logging into account right and got it pin out okay able tutor is expecting some changes in the instance level what he is expecting see just they want to add this person he want to add this application to the favorite yes just we can select that and done so the application has been successfully added to the favorite but who done the changes administrator right super admin so these all added we can find in the system so who done this particular changes once if you fix the issue or task is over then you can and impersonate so when you click on that and impersonate then you will back to the instance so this is about impersonate is next one is elevate roles so when we work with security like a acl access control list that moment we can elaborate more about elevate roles will be covered later next one printer friendly version this is a new feature which is not available earlier versions which has been implemented from san diego so what is the purpose of that printer friendly version for example go to incident table click on all open any specific record when the respective user they want to take the print out of this record so the login user can take the print out if the printer has connected to your system directly you can take the print out of this particular instant or problem in your tickets next one is log out so before we leave the work or once your work has finished you must be log out don't leave the system as it is in case if you leave out the system as it is someone they can misuse the system that moment it may impact on the business so this is about log out so come to the last but not least content frame so this is called a content frame where and when we click on that create new system can open new record and when we click on and send to me so open the tickets which are assigned which are assigned respect to login user and if you click on open open all open tickets if i click on all open all tickets which are available in the specific table okay so this is about service now user interface i have covered all the components which are available in user interface in service now
and one more thing you have to remember guys please keep in your mind so don't think about the difference between developer instance and a real time instance 100% both are same same components we are using real time as well as developer instance there is no difference because service now is a standard platform where we can use the standard application like incident problem and change and knowledge management service catalog okay thanks for watching my video have a great day.